Hello everyone, my name is Gita, and welcome to your Pick a Card Reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Do They Think About Kissing You? But before we get started, I'd just like to say really quickly that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up, I appreciate it, and it helps me out, it helps out my channel. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and then hit the bell notification. Also, if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. Also in the video description is where you'll find your timestamps. So this is going to be stone number one with a pink Merkaba, stone number two with the pink opal, stone number three with the heart-shaped rose quartz, and stone number four with the pink agate. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take as long as you need, but I'm going to go ahead and get started and let's find out if they think about kissing you. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number one with the pink Merkaba, and let's go ahead and find out what your person, if your person wants to kiss you or not. All right, so we have the high priestess in the reverse. We have the five of pentacles. We have the four of wands in the reverse. We have the lovers in the reverse. And then we have the queen of swords. Clarifying the High Priestess in the reverse, we have the Knight of, of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles. Clarifying the Four of Wands in the reverse, we have the Ten of Wands. Clarifying the Lovers in the reverse, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Clarifying the Queen of Swords, we have the Four of Wands. We clarifying the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, we have separation. Clarifying the King of Pentacles, we have wedding rings. Clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have mask. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, we have love call. Clarifying the Four of Wands, we have coffin. And then your oracle card, your oracle cards are Unrequited Love and number eight, Motivation. All right. So right off the bat, it says that they don't think about kissing you. I'm Don't, hold on. Don't get too excited just yet. I don't know. I'm picking up more things going on here than just that. The high priestess in the reverse can indicate like being a silent or some kind of of secret. It could be a secret about with the Knight of Pentacles could indicate being stuck, being cautious. There's some kind of situation. I feel like they're being really cautious. So and there's some kind of something to do with separation. I feel like they might be missing you. They're secretly missing you and they're thinking about you. And they're unsure about their future. I think they try not to allow themselves to do something like think about kissing you. I think that they do miss you though. Okay. I can't help but think that something is going on here with all of these cards like this. This person could be married. Could also be your boss. I feel like they might be already in a relationship. If they're married, they're already in a relationship and they're not happy in the relationship. But... And they might be in the, on the verge of separation or, or um, of divorce or something with a Five of Pentacles. The Four of Wands in the reverse, too. The overall energy is the Four of Wands in the reverse. The Ten of Wands in Mask. I'm just, I'm feeling like they're not showing their true feelings. This person is not showing their true feelings. The Four of Wands in the reverse can indicate um, like being ungrateful, 
having a stifling routine. Like, they're not happy with their current situation. Unhappy home. You know, um, that's what I'm getting. And it's weighing down on them. I feel like there is a connection between the both of you with the lovers is in the reverse, though. But I do feel like there's a strong soul connection. We have the Ten of Pentacles and Love Call. Whew. Someone expressing love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. I feel like you might get that from this person. I feel like there's like something there is a, it feels like there's something that is at stake. You know, there's some kind of situation where they don't feel like they can, so they try not to think about it. Or they don't allow their mind to go very far um, when it comes to things. I, I feel like this person is still, there's something between the both of you. There's something there. Okay. Um, but I do have, maybe you're the one who contacted them and there was unrequited love. The lovers in the reverse can indicate that too. But with the Queen of Swords, I'm feeling like this is most likely not you. I feel like if anything, you're most likely in the High Priestess in the reverse energy. Some kind of secretive energy going on between the both of you. But I don't know. I'm feeling like the Queen of Swords. There's some kind of communication, some kind of truth that needs to be communicated. And about the Four of Wands, I feel like it's some kind of, something is going to be coming to light. And... And it says endings with confidence. Endings and brings new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. I feel like there could be something. There's. I feel like there could be a change. I'm not saying you should just go chase after this person or anything like that. I feel like there was something that was maybe going on between the both of you. Maybe like it seemed like something, some kind of affair was starting or something with the both of you. But this person lost motivation. Because I feel like it's... I feel like it, I don't have enough information to say this for certain, but it feels like their energy feels like intuitively, it feels like they're afraid that they are something that they should, they could lose that if they allow themselves to go down that path, not to say that they won't come back. I feel like this person is a soulmate of yours. I feel like they could come back around eventually, but not, not at the moment, but this person is going through something. But I do feel like they miss you. They, I feel like they do miss you. And I don't know. Maybe that kind of give you mixed signals. Maybe, you know, they think about missing you. For the unrequited love, maybe you're the one who had the unrequited love or something for some of you. I'm not saying for all. But I'm feeling like they think about you. I feel like they've given you mixed signals and stuff. This feels, this feels confusing. Let me know in the comments below. But it feels confusing. And, and no, they're not allowing themselves to think about kissing you or going off into any fantasies or anything like that with you at the moment. It looks like they're trying to stay grounded at the moment and everything. They're not thinking about that kind of stuff. I mean, we do have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like they have thought about it. They're not, I don't think they haven't done in a while. I feel like that once they would be whatever they've worked out, whatever is the issue. Because, I mean, the, the message says no, but, I mean, look right here with the Five of Pentacles. There is one card. All of these cards of this deck, they all show situations with kissing, but only one, only one shows it. And this is the Five of Pentacles. I don't know. I can't help but feel like there is some kind of wanting and some kind of desire in this situation with these cards, but the answer is no at the moment. That that's what I'm getting. If you want to try to explain or something in the comments a little bit more, because I feel I feel a mixed a mixed emotions in this situation. Not from misfit peoples, more like 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 they don't know what they want, or it's kind of like a bittersweet type of thing. I feel like some are maybe going through a divorce or going through a separation and maybe they're trying to hold on to their families or something like that or their business or something. They're trying to hold on to something. They're like, because there's something at, at stake. And, and also they may not want to, to lead you on, but maybe they already have done already. 
with the motivation card is like having motivation and then it losing steam like like they were motivated and then it stopped all of a sudden and you're like what happened and but it says also to remind the person why they became motivated to begin with so maybe that's something to think about because I definitely feel like there's an energy here okay there's definitely some kind of energy some kind of bond here and it does feel romantic but no they're not thinking about kissing you at the moment at least not for a while anyways I feel like it actually might for some of you might have actually kissed I'm picking that up for some of you uh, you already kissed already Anyways, that's all I have for show number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number two. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number two with the pink opal. And let's go ahead and find out if they think about kissing you. So we have justice in the reverse. We have the page of swords. We have the nine of cups. We have the page of cups in the reverse. And we have the three of cups in the reverse. Clarifying the justice in the reverse, we have death in the reverse. Clarifying the page of swords, we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Clarifying the nine of cups, we have the king of cups in the reverse. Clarifying the page of cups in the reverse, we have the hierophant in the reverse. Clarifying the Three of Cups in the reverse, we have the Emperor. Clarifying Death, we have Karmic Relationship. <clears throat> Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the Sword and Rose. Clarifying the King of Cups in the reverse, we have Hammer. Clarifying the Hierophant in the reverse, we have Camera. Clarifying the Emperor, we have Heartbroken. And for your Oracle cards, we have Pay Attention to the Red Flags. And number 13, Isolation. All right, so overall, the answer is no. It says no, and let me explain why, what is going on here the best I can. This is a general reading, but <clears throat> it's saying with death in the reverse that whatever is going on, I feel like there's an ending to the situation. It was unfair. I feel like there's some, bur some, some bridges that were burned, and... I feel like this is uh, this has created some kind of karma with you. This I do feel like there's some kind of karmic relationship. There is definitely lessons and resentment and letting go. I still feel like this person does have some feelings for you, but uh, this person, mm, I feel like they've communicated that they've tried to win. There's some kind of like. The Eight of Pentacles is about working on something and then not making any progress. So I feel like they're trying to say like that they've worked on this. I feel like they would have communicated and also realized the truth that they've been working on this with you and not made any progress. I do feel like this was a karmic relationship and it was meant to teach you guys things. Overall, I feel like this person is working on themselves. They still have really intense emotions towards you about it. But overall, they're pretty happy how they are on their own. They're trying to rebuild things. 
They're working on themselves though. However, I mean, they're really working on themselves a bit. With the Page of Cups in reverse, I'm feeling like this person is really emotionally, like, immature and naive. This person still reminisces about you and they, they think about the past, okay? And they, with the hair fit in the reverse, I feel like they, like, they feel bad. And they're not sure what the right thing is to do. Your person might be a water sign or something for some of you. Doesn't have to be, but just because you have all these cups with the king of cups and the page of cups. Could be air, Libra. But <clears throat> three cups in the reverse with the Emperor. This person is really sad and they're like feeling kinda lost. There's a separation, there's grieving, they're mourning with the Emperor. I feel like they're trying to get themselves together, but the Three of Cups, I feel like there's like maybe people around them that are not helping them, that are their friends or something. I don't think they're helping them. They might be partying too much or something. We have pay attention to the red flags. I think that there's like signs that have told you that, that there's been signs that have been cautioning you about this situation like throughout it. Then we have isolation. They might feel like you're, it's going to be different because it's general. Some of you is going to be like, you're the one who's isolating and they are, but this card, it says that, um, if you keep like doing things, you know, if you keep, it's, it's fine to isolate yourself for some things, but if too much is not good for you and it feels, and it says also that if people, like if someone keeps asking you. If you want to go do something, eventually they'll stop asking. And I feel like that is what is going on between the both of you. Either you were asking them to keep doing stuff, but they were just not. And then you were like, whatever. And you couldn't do anything with this person. Or it was them asking you and they walked away because there was nothing happening here. That's what it seems like. But <clears throat> let me know what's going on in the comments below. This is very interesting reading. I don't get too many, I don't know, I get a mixture, but I get a lot of more soul meat. I think soul meat relationship readings pop up than karmic ones, but I do like this deck because of that, but I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number three. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number three with the pink rose quartz heart. And let's find out if your person thinks about kissing you. So we have the seven of wands. <clears throat> we have the high priestess in the reverse. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Tower. Clarifying the Seven of Wands, we have the Hierophant. Clarifying the High Priestess in the reverse, we have the King of Cups. <clears throat> Clarifying the Ace of Swords, we have the Emperor in the reverse. Clarifying the Three of Cups in the reverse, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. 
Clarifying the tower, we have death in the reverse. <clears throat> Clarifying the Hierophant, we have the Sword and Rose. Clarifying the King of Cups, we have Twin Flames. Clarifying the Emperor in the Reverse, we have the Golden Mirror. Clarifying the Six of Cups in the Reverse, we have Seduction. Clarifying death in the reverse, we have the phoenix. Dang. This is intense reading. Okay. All right. And so for your, um, for your oracle cards, we have forgiving and learning. And then we have strategy in the reverse. <clears throat> All right. So what is your person? What is going on here? So do they think about kissing you? The answer is yes, they think about kissing you. Okay. So. I feel like the truth is that this situation, this this relationship is divinely guided with the Hierophant. They're trying to have faith in you and in your connection. They're even standing up for it. They're fighting for it. This is a twin flame connection. I'd be surprised. Actually, I think like probably most of the people who are twin flames are going to probably pick this. I'd be surprised if they didn't. But... There's a high likelihood that if you pick this pile, then, um, then you're twin flames. <clears throat> Especially if you, one of you are a cancer and one of you are a water sign. Could be like Pisces, Scorpio, or cancer. You both could be water signs. Not saying it has to be, but it's just a high probability. It's like a higher probability. All right. So secretly, the high priestess. I don't know. There's like a secret. You guys, it seems like you have a secret bond. You have a secret balance. There's like a secret between the both of you that you're, this connection is a secret. And it feels like most likely whoever is the female is the one keeping the secret. And the male is the one who feels very, they feel loving, but they also feel emotionally cold and distant. They feel emotionally distant because they're being like emotionally calm about the whole thing. But secretly, I don't feel like that's what they're feeling inside. I'm going to get a mixture here. I am going to get some who are men and women I'm seeing here. So, um, I'm just going to try to keep it like the masculine and feminine type thing. So the overall energy of the masculine here is what it's talking about. The masculine mostly is the emperor in the reverse, the ace of swords, realizing the truth. I feel like they realize the truth that the masculine or whoever you are, if you're the feminine, then you realize this truth. Is that this person is has has narcissistic traits? They're 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 showing narcissistic traits. Not saying that they are narcissistic. Narcissistic. Everybody has these traits to some degree, and we can choose to nurture them or reject them. And if you're the male, then you're the one who is. I'm picking up. The, is this person? I feel like you're trying to, con if you the male, the masculine is trying to control the situation very heavily and manipulate it. The golden mirror, I feel like you guys, emotionally you're reflecting, you're mirroring each other. Okay. 
But also, this person is involved in, in a one-sided relationship at this time. So whoever the female or the mass, the, the feminine is most likely the one who is being, who is, you know, doing all the work basically in this situation. And the other person is kind of acting like, no, they're not doing anything with this person. But I'm getting that the masculine is behaving in a more self-absorbed, not saying they are a narcissist, just saying they're showing narcissistic tendencies. They're, but they're being self-absorbed. They're looking at themselves and they're like, maybe they have a little bit too much of the self-love going on. Okay. Maybe you're both doing that a little bit too. Maybe you're like, I'm doing self-love. Maybe it's too much. There's going to be a balance with it, but I feel like it's mostly the masculine. This is the emperor. So it's most likely the masculine who is behaving in this self-absorbed way. I feel like the masculine is being peer pressured into trying to not think about this situation. I don't know. There's some kind of peer pressure. There's some kind of pressure. There's some kind of trouble with friends in this situation. Their friends could be trying to advise them not to get involved in the situation with you. If you're the feminine. I feel like the, the masculine's friends are advising them not to get involved. That's what it feels like. And try not to think about it, but there's this attraction, you know... There's very a lot of temptation. There could be a third party situation here, not just friends, but there could be like the masculine or or even you. You both could be. The, but I feel like there's people who are in relationships in this situation. <clears throat> I feel like that the masculine thinks about hooking up with this person, with you, whoever this is. That they whoever is this high priestess in the reverse. This feels like both people. This feels like the feminine, the masculine, twin flames. That's what I feel like it's telling me in this. But there's a like, huge temptation. I don't know. It just feels like, uh, yeah. But it's saying eventually with the tower and the death card and the phoenix, this there is going to become a new phase in the relationship. It'll renew, it'll transform, because we have death. We have the tower and death. These are powerful cards. And then the phoenix. So what will happen is when you think that your relationship is the most over, it will transform and become something new. So it'll feel like this, this relationship is totally dead, and it'll transform. And the person will change their mind. And they'll end up being with you or you'll be with them, whoever you are. If you're the masculine, you'll change your mind. If you're the feminine, they're going to change your mind. And it could be jealousy that would trigger that. I don't know. I just, I, I, I really feel like, yeah, there could be some jealousy going on. Where they'll be afraid they're going to lose you. I just I don't feel like the masculine is wanting to let go of the feminine. Even though the masculine is trying to act aloof. Okay. Now what I'm feeling is that. You know this situation is going to involve forgiving and learning. <clears throat> I feel like. It's depending on it, what your situations are. Because this is a general reading. There's going to be some people. I mean I feel like. <clears throat> almost like. Maybe the feminine will have to be forgiving and the masculine could be learning. That's like one thing that came to mind. And then, um, but either way, I'm feeling like, I mean, it could go either way. Even there is a man here and she's like begging for forgiveness. <sighs> but the angels, you know, they're guiding this. The, this is divinely guided. Then we have strategy in the reverse. And the strategy in the reverse says 
Strategy doesn't matter much if you share it with everyone. Keep silent until you're ready to act. And that's what I feel like is going is happening here, maybe for both sides. I feel like, especially maybe the feminine, it could be both. I feel like that everybody's being silent, which is which, which can be indicated here until they're ready to act. And I'm feeling like something is brewing, something is coming up in this situation. But this person does think about you and it's very intense. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is, wow. This is a very intense situation, but I'm feeling like, especially if there's a third party situation, that eventually that the person, the people who are in other relationships between the two people, they're going to, those relationships are going to end and the, the relationship is going to transform into the phoenix. And the phoenix is very powerful, you know? It's like, this is intense. I just, I don't know, I get a visualization of the phoenix transforming is like intense. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number three. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number four. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number four with the pink agate. And let's go ahead and find out what if your person thinks about kissing you. So we have the King of Wands in the reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Hangman. We have the Tower. Then we have Temperance. In clarifying the, the King of Wands in the reverse, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Clarifying the Ace of Cups, we have the Page of Cups. Clarifying the Hangman, we have the Four of Swords in the reverse. Clarifying the tower, we have the knight of swords in the reverse. Clarifying temperance, we have the two of swords. It's a lot of swords. Second row. Clarifying the ten of wands in the reverse, we have hammer. Clarifying the Page of Cups, we have Coffin. Clarifying the Four of Swords in the reverse, we have Phoenix. Clarifying the Knight of Swords in the reverse, we have Lightning. And clarifying the Two of Swords, we have Clock. Then for your oracle cards, we have Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And we have number six, Innocence. Look at her holding on to that fish. So, does your person think about kissing you? The answer is yes. They think about kissing you and they love you. All right, so we have the King of Wands in the reverse. I feel like this person is feeling very... They're feeling maybe very lustful towards you. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. There's like, I feel like, also it's trying to tell me, it feels like, like there's some kind of um, there's some kind of negativity they're trying to release, okay? Like with hammer and the ten of wands, 
I feel like they're rebuilding something. It could be you who's who's working on something persistent. I feel like it's saying that maybe you're very being very persistent in this situation. It could go either way on that one though. The Ace of Cups, this person is loving you. They are feeling all sorts of love towards you. And they want to tell you that they love you. I don't know if they're telling you. But they want to. We have Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. So for some of you, there could be another person. Or there's some other thing that is stopping them from being able to tell them how you, tell you how you feel. How they feel about you. And I feel like whenever that thing ends... And that's when the feelings will show up. They'll start talking about their feelings. We have the hey man, and I feel like this person is. You got the hey man. I feel like they're hanging around, waiting. They're trying to get a new perspective. This person is thinking about you so much. This person is thinking and thinking and thinking this person has a tired mind they're thinking about you so much and for the hangman it's like they're trying to gain perspective on the situation and you know with the phoenix because it's like the situation wants to transform the relationship wants to transform it's coming into a new phase, you know, it, going through a transformation. And this maybe the person said no at a per previous time for whatever reason. And there might be a change of heart or a change of mind, changing their mind about the situation. But something is going to happen. With the tower, some kind of tower movement is going to happen. We have, we have the, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. The Knight of Swords in the reverse is someone who is thinking or they're talking. They're speaking negatively, but they're like, it could be vengeful words. It could be honest words, but it could be vengeful words. Someone who's just saying really uh, crazy things. Someone who's like speaking without thinking. Okay. Something like that is going to happen. And it's going to bring some kind of lightning bolt. A sudden change. Shocking news, surprise, epiphany, an upheaval and transformation. Again, transformation. Again, with, I mean, upheaval is what a tower is. There's going to be a huge transformation. I don't know what someone who is going to say what, when, where, what, but it's going to be like, poof, it's going to like blow something up. But I feel like it's going to be in a good way. Okay. The Two of Swords is showing that they're still going to have a hard time deciding what to do because they can't, they can't, nothing seems to be working out. With Temperance, I'm feeling they can't decide how to come together because the, the Temperance can also indicate like combining two things to become, to make, create something new. Also, it can, it can, um, show, um, Compromise. But the situation still needs time. It says, needs time, takes time, time cycles, time to heal and progress. There will be progress, but this, this is definitely a tricky situation. So your person really does want to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Now, some of you might be able to flirt with this person. Some of you might not be able to. But they, but you can know that they do want to. And then, but there's innocence. And I was going to read this card. And this is like how they're feeling towards you. It says a child's innocence is precious and parents hope that the roughness of the adult world doesn't intrude too soon. But innocence isn't part of childhood, isn't just part of childhood. Approaching the world from an innocent point of view means you assume the best will happen rather than the worst. It almost like feels like it all, it, well, it is saying that, you know, you can assume the best will happen rather than the worst. I feel like there is a situation 
<sighs> but it's like it, like they they feel like they they you both might even approach the world with an innocent point that might be part of what sets off this lightning maybe something is going to change something that whatever's holding them back from doing the flirting is going to change something is going to some kind of upheaval is going to happen with that and it's going to change some things and after a time of healing i think something else is going to happen it says we are all we all start out innocent give include your what does that say what it, Just happened okay it says give people the benefit of the doubt i feel like they feel that about you they try to give you the benefit of the doubt and you try to give them the benefit of the doubt i said cynicism doesn't protect you it just hardens your heart stay soft and vulnerable believe in the inevitable life-sustaining good if you have a decision to make make it from a place of trust so i feel like there is a decision that is got that has to be made between the both of you, and this person is trying to make it from a place of trust. But there's a decision that is needing to be made. Like I was saying, there's like something holding them back. There's something that is stopping them. For some, it could be a third party situation. Some, it could be a job. It could be a thing, or it could be a person. So take whatever resonates. But that's what it says. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and it helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.